Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Billy, right here. He's on. He's on it. All right, we're in Ocean City in the fog, and we're gonna do an inshore trip. We're gonna try to catch whatever's biting. Uh, we're not necessarily targeting anything, but, uh, well, maybe sea bass. But we will see what's out there, but we know right now there's a lot of fog, so we'll be using our radar. <laughs> starting to clear up. Yeah. <laughs> oh geez. That's the sun. Don't show the don't show the I old light up there. Two guys on a kayak. <laughs> on a double kayak. There's our captain. Oh we're in trouble. We're in trouble now. We found these fish 17 miles out from Ocean City. Um, we were on our way to the jack spot. We were going to go out there and catch sea bass, um, maybe hit some other inshore lumps, but on the way out we started seeing some flying fish and some splashing around and sure enough it was a school of mahi-mahi. So we stopped and uh, just started casting some lures that we had already rigged up on our spinning gear. Some of these lures I picked up at Bass Pro out of their bargain bin and were uh, less than three dollars. And um, but they did have some problems. But we were able to catch fish on them, and we would switch to bait uh, when they stopped biting on the lures, and they would start biting on bait. And then when they got tired of biting on the bait, and we switched back to the lures. It seemed like pink was the color that I seemed to be catching most of my fish on. And uh, you can see that in this little segment here. They're out there. Mike, you want? They're hooked. They're hooked. Yep. There we go. We're both on. Billy, you can tie one of them. Fuck you.
Try not to lose him. Uh, Try not to lose him. So you got to keep changing up. Bait to lures, bait to lures. You got to use ducktails, use uris. Keep these guys interested. Come out here with just some one thing, just squid. Catch a couple, but that looks like a nice fish there. Good job, Steve. You're gonna lift them up. Let's hope we can catch them. There he is. Oh, that's a nice fish there. Yeah. Got a few of them down there. Some nice ones. Good job, Steve. Another mahi. That's the nicest fish of the day. Yeah. Nice fish, Billy's got. I think you guys both have a nice fish. You gonna let him go, Steve? You gonna keep him? Yep. Go 
chew tight. I, only, I think you only got like 20 pound test on there. I don't know what you got. Look at that's a nice fish. Don't cross your streams. Switched over to bait. We were catching them on lures. Now we're on bait. Got them. Got them eating again. Here we go. This is all bait. And nice release. Billy, on the other hand, is keeping his fish. He's wrestling around with them right now. Great. Good job, Billy. You'd show that fish who's boss. Right. Who's boss? There we go. Good job. Go again, hooked up again. Uh, nice fish. Might be the same fish. Y'all gotta start moving. Uh oh. I mean, Christ's sake. <laughs> oh, man. There's a whole bunch of them right here. Oh, yeah. He bad too, babe. Two of them. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Two sea bass, Patrick. Yep. There you go. On the Penn yeah. International. That's how we do it here in Ocean City, Maryland. Sea bass. Double header. International. <laughs> yeah. Y'all want that too small, isn't it? Yeah. They gotta be 13 inches. I don't know how tall. Oh. 13. Cool. They just might be undersized, so he's releasing them. Non dangerous. Oh, look at this. Oh, he's oh. got. Oh, look at what he's got. Oh, yeah, dude. That, that, uh, yeah, that, that's my tip right there. No. Nope. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tape, measure. tape measures in the put them up cup on holder. That you can put them on the cutting board. Put them on the cutting board. Just lay them on there. Get your tape measure. Go over there and measure them. <laughs> Lower jaw to the end of his tail. 13. That's a keeper. Oh, 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 oh. oh, two keepers. A double keeper. Double keeper. Yeah. Very nice. And they look at this. I think the real tactics are with these fish when you go out there you know even just looking on the bass pots or or wherever you find them if, if they're not biting your bait definitely have um, a case full of like artificial lures you can throw at them it doesn't even matter what they are if they're plugs anything that shows action in the water um, you know that has some little wiggle to it that'll 
kind of entice them to bite because once one of them hits the rest seem to kind of turn on for a little while then they'll shut down and then you just change it up put a different one on and just kind of go through your tackle box and um, you can be successful you can turn that school of uh, fish that aren't biting into a school that are fish are biting